everyone and welcome to Miss Olive's Neighborhood Workout. I'm Olive, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm coming to you from the unceded land of the Wampanoag people in Massachusetts. Have a seat, make yourself comfortable. So today our practice is going to be a lower body focus of aerobic and strength training. I've strained my arm a little bit and so I'm going to keep it gentle on the upper body today working with what we've got, right? Let us begin by grounding in our sense experiences, in this moment, in our bodies. So whatever sense experiences are arising for you, this is gonna be different for each of us. I'll walk you through some of them. Maybe they work for you, maybe not. Noticing what you are experiencing right now. Maybe there's a picture on the wall that you like. Maybe there's something happening outside of the window that you're noticing. Maybe you hear the sounds of birds singing or the pitter-patter of paws or feet, the hum of the refrigerator, the dryer going. Maybe you want to take a moment and take a sip of your coffee or tea or water. Maybe you feel the warmth of the mug in your hand. Maybe you feel the cloth of your clothes on your body. Maybe you smell the coffee brewing or incense wafting. Whatever it is that you're experiencing, just notice it. Name it. Let your awareness settle there for a moment. And then bring your awareness to your body, specifically to the places where your body connects with the chair, your feet on the earth, allowing yourself to relax into that sense of support, allowing yourself to feel connected, grounded, present. And then bring your awareness to your breath, just as it is. Noticing it wherever it is in your body that your awareness settles. Maybe you notice the in-breath in your nostrils and the out-breath on your upper lip. Maybe you feel the warmth of your out-breath. Perhaps you notice the rise and fall of your chest or the expansion and softening of your belly or if you have difficulty connecting with your breath, maybe you want to place a hand on your chest or your belly and feel the way the breath moves through your body. Our breath and our sense experiences are our anchors. We return to them again and again, maintaining our presence in our body this supports our safety as we move through the house, through the world, through each and every moment. And so, are we ready? I'm gonna take three deep breaths. On the third breath, I'm going to come to standing. If a seated practice is what works for you today, please adjust, modify everything as necessary. I'm here to offer suggestions. I am a guide. And yet your wisdom is the most important thing for you. Take a deep breath right here. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale and release. Another deep breath, reaching up and release. On this third breath, I'm going to come to standing. Inhale, shift my weight. Reach, 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 reach up. And exhale, 
exhale, drop those arms down, shake out any tension in your body. And we're gonna start at the top and work our way down, taking our chins over to our right shoulder. Drop them down and look to the left. Drop it down, back to the right. One more on each side, over to the left. Back to the right and forward. Let's roll those shoulders back and down. Breathing into the chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Maybe you get a little bit bigger with those circles. Last one right here. Let's reverse direction going forward. Breathing into the back, creating space between the spine and the shoulder blades. Soften those knees. We're not locking them. Last one, right here, and drop it down, shake it out. Inhale those arms onto our shoulders, knees are soft, and we're gonna rotate, gentle, small rotation, side to side. Focusing on the upper body, chin and chest stay in alignment, shoulders are down, small movement, lower body stays solid. Four, three, two, and one. All right, drop those arms down, palms forward, thumbs to the side, butt comes back. Here's our position, weight in the heels. If you're seated, you're just leaning forward and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Warming up that upper back here for five, four, three, two, and one. Maintain this lower body position and clasp your hands together. We're going to do a modified kettlebell swing, warming up those hips. Take a deep breath in right here. Exhale, swing it up. Inhale, butt back. Exhale, swing up. This could be a very small movement. Maybe your arms don't come up to your shoulders, or maybe they come up, you swing them high. Again, whatever works for you. As you come up, squeeze those glutes. We're really warming up those hips. Four. Core is strong. Two. And one. Keep those arms up. Feet are wide. And again, butt comes back, continuing to warm up that posterior chain. Maybe you're just tapping your hip crease. Maybe you're tapping the middle of your thigh. Some of y'all might reach your knees or your shins or your toes. Ooh, I feel that in my hamstrings the deeper down I come. Moving in a slow and measured way. Inhale, exhale up. Squeeze those abdominals. Three. Two more on each side. And last one right here. On each side, keep those arms up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands on those hips, step it just a little bit wider, shift that weight side to side, bend one knee and the other. Powering up those thighs. And if you wanna swing those arms, gentle tap on that hip crease. And if you wanna reach across your chest, join me in three, two, one, and across, and across. As always, move in whatever way is most supportive for you. I'm moving in a fluid way right now, but maybe it feels good and you wanna hold the stretch. Do that. Four, three, reach up with me right here. If that works for your shoulders. If not, keep it across. Five, four, three, two more, then sidestep. Right here, swing those arms. And how are you feeling? If you're not warmed up, keep moving at a slower pace. Or if you're ready, we're going to transition to a toe tap side to side. Drop it wide, tap those toes in three, two, 
one, and tap those toes. Shift your weight side to side. We're gonna start with a core punch forward. In three, two, one, punch it forward. As you punch, exhale, and squeeze those abdominals. Five, four, three, two more, then sidestep in one, and one side step, swinging those arms. Take a deep breath. I'm gonna to transition to a ski step. I'm gonna step slightly to the back. In three, two, one, and ski step. Swinging those arms a little bit higher, stepping to the back, engaging the side of my glute. Ah, that outer thigh, inner thigh, four, three, Two, side step in one, right here. Oh, we're gonna go back to that toe tap in four, three, two, one. Drop it wide, tap those toes. This time punch across in four, three, two, one. Punch across the chest. Punching, exhaling, engage that core. Five more, four, Three more, then we're gonna pause here in two, and one, and one. Take a deep breath in, reach it up, exhale, shake out any tension, take it in for a squat. Nice wide stance, feet are parallel, drop it back. Now if you're seated, you're gonna squeeze alternating butt cheeks, or you could do a leg out to the side. Maybe you're standing behind your chair, holding on to it for support, or maybe you're sitting into your chair. This can be very small, focusing on that squeeze of the hips forward, or you might take it deeper. Five more, four more, then side step in three, two, and one, and back to that side step. Oh, take a deep breath and back to our ski step in four, three, two, one, and ski step. Now you can swing those arms higher or if you want to add a tricep chop. Arms come straight out shoulder height, extending forward, connect with the back of your arm for four, three, two more, then side step in one, and one, drop those arms, swing to the side. And we're going back to that wide toe tap. In four, three, two, one, and drop it wide, tap those toes, shifting that weight. All right, this time we're gonna punch forward and across. In three, two, one, punch it forward and across your chest, forward and across, forward, and across, two more sets, forward, and side, and last one, drop it wide, again, right here, oh, take a deep breath, and we're going to do a squat, and add a leg lift, right here, so, drop it in a squat, shift that weight to the left leg, start with the tap out, and back to the center. Drop that squat and shift the weight to the right, tap it out. Maybe this is your edge or maybe you want to lift it up a little bit to the side. Shifting your weight from side to side, adding a little balance component. Squat. Again, this squat will look different. It could be a very small one or you might take it deeper. Experiment. Where do you feel strong? And where does the body need more support today? All right, let's do one more on each, or each side, right here. And transition to a march. Shake out any tension. Take a deep breath in. Oh, exhale, let it go. My shoulders, there's always, always working out tension in the shoulders. 
All right, we're gonna do our wide, narrow march. Let's take it wider, every step a little bit wider. Find your sweet spot for a nice, strong, wide march. And now let's bring it back to a narrow or just neutral position. All right, we're gonna alternate with that wide, narrow march in four, three, two, one. Take it out and in, out and in. Five, four, three more. Then march it wide in two, and out and in and out and nice wide march. Deep breath in, bring it center. And we're gonna do some knee lifts right here. In three, two, one, lift those knees. Now you might just be tapping forward. You might be seated. You might be doing a little knee or you might bring that thigh parallel to the floor. Whatever works for you. And if you wanna add a little chest press, we could do that too. For seven, six, five, four, three more, and then drop it down in two, and one, and one. Drop it down, take a deep breath in. Exhale, and we're gonna do just leg lifts to the side this time, shifting that weight to that right leg. And start by tapping out with the left. And maybe you wanna lift that foot, flex it, and lift up off the ground. Perhaps you're using your chair or the wall for balance support. How does this feel on that hip? How's your glute feeling? Standing leg is strong, but not locking that knee. Connecting with your core. Four, three, two, one, shake it out, shift that weight over to that left leg. Start with a tap out. And then if you want to explore, flexing that foot, lifting it up off the ground. Connect with your core, move with your breath. Noticing the sensations in your body. Four, three, Two, back to a march. In one, drop it down, shake it out, and march it out. Take a nice deep breath, oh, let it go. And we're gonna go back to that wide, narrow march. Uh, starting with your other leg, for me, that's my left leg now. In three, two, one, take it out and in, out and in. Five, four, Three more, then march it wide in two. And out, and in, and out. Nice, strong, wide march. And we're gonna transition to a hamstring curl in three, two, one. Curl those legs back. I'll show you the side. I'm kicking back with my heel for five, four, Three more, then wide march in two, and one, and one, wide march, and bring it narrow. All right, we're going back for another set of knee lifts in four, three, two, and one, and lift. Remember, just tapping or little knee. And if you want to do a lat pull down, reach and pull for seven, six, Five, four, three more, then drop it down in two, and one, and one, take a deep breath. Oh, shake out any tension, and we're gonna do a side squat. Step to the side. I'm gonna start with my left leg. Step wide, drop it in a squat, press it back to center. Step to the other side, drop, and press it back. This can be a very small move, both a small step and a little back, or you can take it wider and deeper. Again, listening to your body, exploring what would be the best move for you right now. Step to the side, press it back. Power of this move comes from that press back. Four, 
on each side. Three. Are you breathing? Two. And maybe having fun. The last one. Right here. And march. Shake out any tension. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh, exhale and release. I'm gonna roll those shoulders again. All right, we're gonna come in for some standing crunches right here. So let's get a knee lift going, knee and knee. Again, what does this look like for you? Again, they could be done seated or standing. All right, so I've got those knees going. I'm gonna breathe those arms out and I'm going to pull them down as I lift up. Here we go. Lift. And the other side. Again, this could be a small movement. Exhaling as either those toes come forward or the arms come down and the knees come up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Connect with your abdominals. If you need to do just one arm and hold onto a chair for balance support, that's an option. You always have options. Whew. Three more each side. Two. Keep going with those knees. One and one. Let's march for a minute. Shake out any tension. Give those hips some loving. Take a deep breath in. All right, we're gonna do a second set and we're gonna breathe the hands onto the arms this time. And now, with those knees, tapping forward or lifting. All right, let's see if I can do this right now. And we're gonna turn slow motion, small movement, getting into those obliques, five, Still exhaling as the knee comes up. Three, two, and one, and one, and drop it down. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh, exhale those hands into your hips and circle those hips. Check in. Do a little body scan, reverse direction. Is there anything you need? Do you need some water? Are you feeling any discomfort anywhere? Shake, 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 shake that out. Oh, let's take a nice deep breath in. And release. All right. If you are using weights, you're gonna grab one with your, which hand is that? Your left hand. All right, we're gonna do leg lifts again. Tapping out to the side with that right leg. And maybe flexing that foot, lifting up off the ground. I'm actually gonna drop that weight. <laughs> and if you want to extend the weight in that other arm, working our balance, you might be standing behind your chair, holding on. If you're seated, your leg is coming out to the side. You might have that weight in that hand. It's not working for me today. Just letting the arm float up as the leg comes out to the side. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Shake, shake, shake it up. And now if you're using the weight, you're going to switch it to that left hand. Shift your weight to your left foot. Tap out with the right. And if it works for you to flex that foot and lift it up off the ground. And if you'd like to lift either your weight or just your arm out to the side, exploring this balance challenge. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Shake, shake, shake it out. Let's open those hips a little bit. Standing on that right leg. Open that left hip to the side. Small circles. Open to the side. Hold it here. Close it to center. Open to side. Close to center. 
One more. Drop it down, shake it out. Oh, ankles are popping. Open the other side. Noticing if this side feels different. Hold it here, close to center. Not judging the body, but just exploring. How's it feeling today? Drop it down, shift that weight. All right, I'm moving my drink because it's in the way. And if you need a chair, I'm moving the weights over here. We're gonna do a little glute work, standing behind the chair, using that for support, shifting my weight to that right foot. That left foot comes up, calf is parallel to the floor, flex that foot and press it back. Small movement, squeeze that glute, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same leg, lift it up in the front, flex that foot, hinge at the knee, six, five, four, three, two, one, extend it, point that toe and flex, point and flex. Can you feel that quad burning? Standing leg is strong. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop it down, shake, shake, shake it out. Take a nice deep breath in, watch out for the chair. And let it go, we're coming in for the other side. Standing on that left leg, using my chair for support, taking a moment to ground, noticing what's happening in my body, bringing that right heel up, flexing that foot, pressing back. Seven, core strong. Five, four, three, two, and one, and now lift that leg up, thighs parallel to the floor, flex that foot, kick it out. Connect with that quad. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend that leg, point your toe and flex. Point and flex. Feel that calf activate. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, shake, shake, shake it up. Move in the chair. Oh. Let's lift love those knees. Butt comes back, hands go down the thighs. Rub those knees, and now circle those knees. Small movement, and then reverse direction. Four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale and release. One more, I'm grabbing the weights because I'm just gonna hold them right at a 90 degree angle, arms tight to the side. My feet are parallel, hip distance apart. So I am gonna send my butt back, hinging at the waist until my upper body comes parallel to the floor. And then I'm gonna squeeze those glutes and hamstrings and come back up, engage that core. All right, this is what this looks like. It is a small movement, focusing on the back of the legs and glutes. Core is always strong. That butt comes back, my knees are soft. Slow motion movement. Connect with those muscles. Four more. Is this like a modified deadlift? Three. Send the butt back. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core, coming back up. Two. And up, last one right here. And squeeze it up. Excellent, excellent work, everyone. Oh, shake, shake, shake it up. Let's take a nice deep breath in, reach it up. 
exhale and release and let's come to sit in our chairs for our final stretch oof oh, sound effects are necessary for sitting and standing these days all right let's take a nice deep breath in reach it up exhale drop that left arm keep that right arm up reach over feel that whole side body open take a nice deep breath in exhale bring that arm around in front hold it below your elbow soften the shoulder relax your hand take a deep breath in exhale release inhale both arms up exhale this time drop the right hand keep the left hand up and reach over feeling that stretch from your hips to your fingertips inhale exhale that arm around in front hold it below your elbow drop the shoulder relax the hand soften into the moment take a deep breath in exhale release roll those shoulders back and down and reverse let's roll them forward Ooh, neck just popped shake 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 it out all right I'm taking that left leg interlacing my fingers behind the thigh sitting up straight out of the waist hugging that knee into my chest Feeling my lower back open, noticing that my bladder is full. Ah, oh, so many things are happening in the body. And let's take a deep breath in, flex that foot, press through the heel. Oh, feel your hamstring open. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, hug it back in and circle that ankle. And reverse direction, listen to it crackle, hug it in and drop it down, stomp those feet. Oh, and relax. Take those hands behind that right thigh, sitting up straight out of the waist, chest open, shoulders down, hug it in, feel your lower back open. Take a deep breath in, flex that foot and press through that heel, extending the leg. Feeling the hamstring open, your shoulders are pulled down, sit up straight, breathe into the back of the leg. Take a nice deep breath in here, exhale, hug it back in and circle that ankle and reverse direction and drop it down, stomp it out. Hip stretch, take that left ankle across your right, or across your knee if that's available. This might be your edge. You can feel that in that hip. Oh, placing a hand on your knee and ankle. Chest open, shoulders down. Take a nice deep breath in. And if you want to explore this more deeply, bend forward from your waist as you exhale. Find your edge and hold the stretch, but not your breath for three, two, one and come back up and place that back on that 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 foot back on the ground let's give those hips some loving and now other side across your ankle or knee Oof, this one requires a little more assistance oh take a nice deep breath in chest open shoulders down exhale bend forward from your waist Again, finding the sweet spot, holding the stretch, breathing into that right hip. Take a nice deep breath here and come back up and place that foot on the ground. Stomp those feet. Take a nice deep breath in Woo, and reach it up. Exhale and release. Let's take that chin to our left right shoulder and forward to the right and forward other side to the left and forward left and forward chin to chest and forward chest and forward one more bring it up oh. 
take a moment and come back to your sense experiences. Noticing the world around you as it is arising within you. Noticing the sensations in your body. Is there more spaciousness and ease? Is there any discomfort? Is there anything that needs tending? Any more stretching? Perhaps just some water? Whatever it is that your body needs. The invitation is to care for it. How else would we live this life as wondrous and horrifying as it can be? And now let us take three deep breaths together. Inhale, reach up, fill those lungs. Exhale and release. Another deep breath in, soften the belly, allow it to expand and release. And one more deep breath in, reach, 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 reach for the sky, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is always a pleasure. I am so grateful that we get to spend this time together. Until we meet again, take care. Bye now.